Hey everybody, today I'm out and about in the New Forest hoping to capture an epic landscape image. Sometimes big vistas can present big challenges, but let's see if we can make photographic sense out of this and come away with a really cracking image. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. So today, I'm at a place in the New Forest called Deadman Hill and it's a pretty epic location. Um, for the New Forest, which is largely quite flat, this place has some elevation and some spectacular views. So I did a shoot here a couple of weeks ago, which I did a vlog about, um, which if you want to go and have a look after you've watched this one, I'll link to it up here. And in that video, I was actually not far from here. I was just down the valley away, shooting from the far side of the valley over towards where I'm standing now. And what I realised, that I did that shoot in the late afternoon, and what I realised was that although I quite liked the composition um, possibilities that there were over that side of the valley, the problem was the light. You can probably see the sun is setting almost over my right shoulder here behind us. And so looking this way down these big valleys, the problem is the light's really quite flat. Um, and because there's a gentle sloping valley, you're either going to get late afternoon light that's kind of direct into the valley and therefore there's no sort of cross lighting there's no shadows that you can really work with but if i swivel you round in the morning the sun is going to rise straight over there um, so again it's going to be the, the the floor of the valley is going to be in shadow until after the sun is up so again you're not really going to get uh, ideal lighting conditions whichever way so this is a, a problem that I'd quite like to find a solution for. Shoot this scene um, a couple of times, at different times of day, and just see what works. So the light now is actually not bad. It's a nice clear day, but we've got some high cloud and, uh, that's just uh, to the west. So the sun is actually um, still quite bright, but it's actually quite well diffused at the moment. Um, so it's not too harsh on the valley, but it's still not ideal, it's still flat. Um, but what I don't want to do is if I come back to shoot this pre-dawn, I don't really want to be stumbling around this landscape uh, looking for foreground interest, trying to nail down compositions in the half dark. More than likely I'll miss something um, or just not set myself upright. So I quite like working like that. I quite like coming out, doing a little recce, figuring out some compositions and then coming back when the light's right. So let's go take a look around and I'll see if I can find the beginnings of some compositions to work with. So I've just had a little walk around and I've kind of just walked around uh, the sort of bowl uh, of the hill as it curves round and just had an initial look just to try and find two or three compositions and just, just hone in on areas more than uh, trying to achieve a precise composition. And I've now got the camera set up on the first uh, of those compositions. Um, and if I spin you around, so you'll see I've got these two trees here. Now, this one is still in the very early stages of budding and I'm not, it doesn't look that amazing, if I'm honest. This one, the silver birch over here, I really like because the leaves have more come through. There's a lovely, uh, beautiful, uh, fresh green leaves come through on that. And the sun behind me, nicely diffused, is just lighting that quite, quite nicely. Um, because of the time of day, um, the composition that I've dialed in on the camera, if I bring you in here and I'll just chat it through, is that um, I've kind of set up, I don't know if you can see the back of the screen too well, but I've set up with um, a kind of more sky because I want to get this tree in. So uh, to capture this full in, the, in the, uh, the majority of the tree in the frame, I've ended up with about a third land uh, and about two thirds sky. Now, we actually haven't got bad sky conditions just now. There's quite a bit of high cloud just drifted in. So that's better than it was if it was just plain blue. Um, it's a little bit windy, so I've got oiled in 
uh, shutter speed of around about, um, I think I'm on, I'm F11, I'm at 16 mil, uh, and I'm shooting at about a 40th of a second just because there's a little bit of movement in, uh, in the branches of the tree. So I'm trying to uh, just minimise uh, how much movement there is in that. So a 40th should just about do that. Um, and as I say, the, the, the tree is more of the hero in this shot. Uh, than the the valley is um, so I'm going to try this composition and then we'll we'll see if uh, if I can shoot some other compositions where the valley floor is a bit more of the hero of the scene so um, that's composition number one uh, of the afternoon shoot and we'll see how that comes out I went for a five by four crop of this image in the end purely because it suited the fact that I've got one dominant subject if uh, there'd been more uh, the image to the left, I think it would have become unbalanced. Um, and so I'm quite happy to keep this image simple with the detail of the tree contrasting against the nice, simple cloud texture in the sky it works quite nicely. Sorry, quick whinge. Uh, look at this down here on the ground. Some kind visitor to the New Forest today has decided that on this beautiful hillside uh, that what they need to do is take their can of Red Bull and just throw it on the ground. So this little fella is coming home with me because this is not staying in the New Forest ruining this beautiful countryside. Anyway, onward to composition number two. So, I'm set up here on comp number two. The light's getting nicer and nicer at the moment and I'm trying not to destroy the heather as I just pick my way gently through here. So here we are with the camera set up on composition number two. And this one, a uh, little bit different. I've got this lovely stand of trees here, um, mixture of fir and silver birch. And just leading the eye, they're just in a nice line that just leads into um, the valley beyond. And then in the foreground over here on the right hand side, we've just got some uh, what I call tiny Christmas trees, um, which. I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at this later because they're a bit scrubby and they're not actually the most lovely foreground element. So, and just because of the way that this slope is coming in from the right hand side, they're going to be, they're going to be reasonably present in the frame. So, I'm not too sure whether that's going to be a bit of a spoiler of this composition, but I'm going to take the shot um, pretty much the same. The light's just a little bit stronger, so I've just, I'm still F11, ISO 100, um, just focusing on the trees on the, on the left hand side here. And, um, and we'll just see. The sky's still looking good. Um, I've just checked, I haven't blown the highlights out. Um, and we'll see what this looks like. I'm not entirely sure about this composition. Love the trees, not so sure about the right hand side. The other thing just to mention about this shot is that I'm going to use a two second timer on this shot. And the reason being, you can see on the GoPro that as the sun gets lower, my shadow is out in front of the camera. Um, and so there's every chance if I'm not paying attention um, and I actually stand at the camera to take the shot, that uh, I will get my own shadow uh, in the foreground because <laughs> uh, I'm only focusing a few feet in front of me. So, um, or rather, sorry, the bottom of the frame is only a few feet in front of me. So, um, yeah. That's always just one to be careful when you're photographing with the sun at your back late in the afternoon. So I didn't do any cropping to this image. This is a 3-2 uh, ratio um, straight out the camera uh, composition. Lighting's nice on the trees to the left. And the concerns that I had about uh, the scruffy nature of the ground cover um, didn't turn out to be too much of an issue after all. I think that's probably because I kept the uh, angle fairly low. Um, and so you don't really pick out the detail of any one particular uh, bit of that ground cover. So this is a decent result. So I'm just um, set up here on composition number three. Uh, and I'll bring you in uh, and show you how I'm framing this one up. So this one is a little bit more of a um, hero shot of the valley and rather than in the previous compositions where I've had trees included, um, I've used a bit more of the sky because I needed to get the height of the trees in. On this particular frame, you'll see just on the left hand side here, uh, there's a rather nice lit uh, gorse bush. Um, and that's uh, the kind of dominant foreground element. Um, so on this one, I'm composing it with about 
uh, two thirds land, one third sky, if that, um, just because I want to make the valley uh, the hero. And the sun's getting pretty low now. So um, one of the things I've got to be really wary of is on the right hand side here, we've already got um, some uh, shadows creeping in, which is quite nice. I think that just gives a little bit of texture to um, the otherwise flatly lit scene in front. Um, I'm having to be really careful of, of my own shadow. Again, I'm shooting on a five second timer so that I can hit the shutter, run, run back up the hill <laughs> behind me to get my own shadow out of it. The only other thing that I did notice is the gorse bush itself. You'll see just down here, the gorse bush itself is throwing um, quite a shadow into the centre of the frame. And that's a that's a pretty ugly shadow, to be honest. Um, but I think that will uh, that will be getting uh, removed in, in post production. I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, we'll see what that looks like. Um, I'm quite pleased the cloud was a little bit better than I thought today. But I, st I still have a concern about overall about this shot of just this very uh, sort of flat light. Nice light though it is, it's flat. So I think what we'll do is. We'll take these shots home, have a look at them this evening, um, and have a little think. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to get up early, come out at stupid o'clock, um, because I know that that sunrise is going to happen in the way that in the direction that we're shooting. And so, with some lovely dawn colours in the sky, this could be an entirely different shot. And there will undoubtedly be. Uh, different ways of composing this particular um, scene and because um, a lot of the foreground elements will of course not be lit uh, nicely like they are now um, and I'll probably be wanting to, to focus on further into the valley um, and on the sky so that'll do for part one of this video um, and I will see you tomorrow morning for part two see you then this ended up being by far the weakest of the three images that uh, I took um, for a couple of different reasons. First of all, the uh, sky had largely cleared of clouds, so we've got, although we've got less sky in this image, it's pretty flat, blue, and boring. Um, and there's also a technical issue with this image. Uh, you may not be able to see it on the video, but I've allowed the gorse bush on the left uh, to become slightly unsharp, slightly out of focus. Um, and that's purely because uh, I had zoomed in a little bit, so I was shooting at about 24 mil here rather than uh, 16 for the previous shots. Um, and I just hadn't uh, been very careful with my um, uh, depth of field, so it's easily done. Um, this image is a 4-2 crop, but ultimately uh, this is the weakest one and it's definitely not a keeper. Morning everybody, first coffee of the morning, badly needed. Uh, it's just after 5.30, um, so well, let's get out there and see what the New Forest has got for us on what is hopefully gonna be a nice clear dawn uh, with a good blue hour and hopefully a really nice sunrise to capture. So I'll get this down me and then I'll see you out at the location. Cheers. Hey everybody, um, so we're back out this morning on uh, composition three that I messed up yesterday. Um, and as you can see, we've got some pretty good color up in the clouds. It's just, we're just 10, 15 minutes away from dawn. Um, and I've, let me just talk you through very quickly what I'm doing setup wise here. So I'm kind of in the same position I was yesterday, but in the shot that I messed up yesterday, I had the gorse bush in the corner of the shot. Um, but with the light the way it is, and the fact that it's a little bit windy, the gorse bush is moving around too much to include in the frame, um, it'll, it'll just blur. So um, I've just moved the tripod a little bit right, taken that out, but to be honest with you, with the sky as good as it is this morning, uh, I don't really need that foreground interest, so I'm just punching through into the uh, um, main mid-ground. And I've just, I've zoomed in a little bit, I'm not out at 16 mil, I'm shooting at about 24 mil, um, I've got, uh, four stop ND grad on just to drop the sky down a little bit um, and I'm, I'm afraid you just missed the best bit of the colour actually it was about five minutes ago um, 
but it was so good and it was such a brief, intense burst of colour that uh, I decided to concentrate on the stills photography, not the vlogging for that moment. So uh, you can still enjoy the nice colours in the sky, but hopefully when you see the final image, uh, it'll look even better. So yeah, I think we're done for the day. I'm going to head back to the office, grab some coffee, have a look at these images, um, and I'll stick them up on, the, on screen now and show you what the uh, final results were. So I'll sign off for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do click the subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more uh, landscape photography and wildlife photography from the New Forest and all around the world. In the meantime, take care, go safe. Thank you.